I wanted to show you what these uh, MIG pliers are for and the different uses there are for them. So I'll use, uh, I'll take apart this, this MIG gun tip and show you what the different functions of this tool are. The first one is this big circle right here is for taking off this outer cup. Um, this, this particular gun, it just pops right off, it slides on and off but a lot of other tips, like the, the other welder I have, it actually unscrews. Sometimes it gets jammed on there really tight, especially since it heats and cools and heats and cools. So you can use that part to help get it started spinning off. Um, I would just hand tighten it when you put it back on so that it doesn't get jammed on there too tight the next time. So then the, the, that's, the cup comes off, and then the next part is the tip right here, and that's this smaller circle right there. You can get that and get the tip started to spin off. Again, when you put the tip back on, I would uh, just finger tighten it. The wire cutters are right here where you just, to get the right stick out, just go ahead and trim off that little nib of wire. Now, uh, there was a ball on the end of the wire, so I cut that off so now we can get the tip off. And um, these you'll replace every now and then. Um, keep, try to keep this tip clean. Um, let's see, so then you have um, the, the plier section right here you can use to, um, if you're, this next little uh, section here has flats on it so you can unscrew it starting it with those pliers. So this is where the gas comes, comes in and goes out these little holes and spreads out into the cup. And so now we're as stripped down as this gets. Um, again, we used the wire cutters to trim the wire. Um, another thing these are good for is your cup. We'll get this, this junk in it. Um, you can see the, gra the gray um, spatter that collects in there. You can use the, the outer section of these needle nose pliers to get that junk out of there and get that nice and cleaned up. Now it's bright shiny metal on the inside, nice and clean. Um, blow out the junk. Very highly recommend you pick up a pair of MIG pliers. You can get them anywhere welding supplies are sold, um, including like Ace Hardware and, and uh, Home Depot, Lowe's. They often have these also, as well as other local welding shops or on Amazon. Another important tip for getting um, good welding is how much stick out, which um, stick out is how far, how far away from the metal you are holding the gun and therefore how much wire is sticking out of the tip. That's why it's called stick out. So um, you want to maintain a pretty close stick out like an eighth of an inch or so is just about right. It'll vary with what you're doing but that will uh, that'll get you going. Um, if your MIG gun um, often right now the the tip this tip inside is slightly protruding outside of the cup here but um, this cup originally from the factory, it was about like that. So you can see that the, the tip is actually recessed into the cup about an eighth inch or more. That makes it so you automatically have a longer stick out than you should. It's gonna be a lot harder to get your welds hot enough. And um, uh, yeah, you just won't be able to have the performance that you could from your welder. So if um, I actually used a cutoff disc on a, an angle grinder or a high-speed cutting tool to cut off a slice. I cut off about an eighth inch of material here from the cup and sliced it so that it was shorter. I went a little bit too short, so my tip is protruding some. That's not a big deal. Um, up to your preference, Some uh, you might want it flush even, you might want it protruding a little bit like this, but that really helps because now you can get right in there to the work and um, and have the appropriate stick out and not not be limited by that.